Apple's MacBook Pro models have been the best laptops in the market for years with recent MacBook Pro 14 and MacBook 16 with the M1 Pro and M1 Max being the cream of the crop. However, even the best laptops have their shortcomings. As good as they are, you'll find every MacBook Pro's weakness is its lack of ports. In fact, the 13-inch MacBook Pro with M1 only boasts a headphone jack and a pair of Thunderbolt ports, one of which is used to charge the laptop. Plus, the MacBook Pro 14 doesn't come with any USB-A ports. This isn't ideal for those who want to use, well, any other peripheral. If you want to use a mouse, plug in a different keyboard, or connect your MacBook Pro or MacBook Air to a USB-C monitor, you'll need to get yourself a USB-C hub. We have listed the top 5 USB-C hubs for MacBook Pro and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all the products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You could also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, guidinggear.com. Number 5. Basus 8-in-1 USB-C Hub It's a fairly solid choice if you're looking for an easy, affordable way to expand your Mac, Windows, or Linux laptops connectivity options. It features 3 USB 3.0 ports, a USB-C input, an HDMI port, 2 SD card reader slots, and an Ethernet port, making it more akin to a docking station than a simple hub. It also has a sleek, minimalistic design that will blend in well with your setup no matter what kind of computer you use. Basus has actually won multiple awards for their products almost every year since 2015. So if aesthetics are one of your priorities, Vesuus has some top-notch product designs. The Vesuus 8-in-1 USB-C hub is an affordable multi-port dock with a lot on offer, including three 5GB USB-A ports that can charge devices at 7.5 watts, gigabit Ethernet, and a 100W pass-through power USB-C port. The HDMI ports support 4K displays at 30Hz, so might not be well-suited for gamers or movie watchers. There are ports for an SD card and microSD TF cards. Although at 60 megabits per second, this is not as speedy as even the UHS-1 standard. The integrated 6.6-inch USB-C cable can be minimized for travel with its neat cable tidy port that creates a loop. And there's an LED that shows you when the hub is in use. Number 4. Dell D6000 USB-C Hub It's a plain black box for doing plain office things. Dell's logo is on the top, also in black. Otherwise, there aren't any adornments or decorations. Dell's new dock has an interesting innovation to make it compatible with both USB Type-C and old-fashioned USB 3.0 ports. The cable is a USB Type-C cable, but there's a long USB 3.0 adapter that fits around the USB end and keeps the USB Type-C portion in a small cage. That adapter looks ridiculous and it's clumsy, but you won't lose the USB 3.0 adapter this way. Once you've upgraded to a USB Type-C computer, you can slide the extension down the cord and out of the way. The D6000 set of ports is pretty standard. The front provides easy access to a headphone jack, a pair of USB 3.0 port, and a USB Type-C port, while there are another two USB 3.0 ports on the back, alongside an Ethernet jack, two display ports, and an HDMI output. The Dell D6000 dock is one of the best USB-C hubs around for the modern professional Dell user. It can be used on old and new laptops thanks to an adapter on the connection cable allowing it to connect via the new USB-C port, or a legacy USB-A slot. The D6000 looks firmly towards the future for display options by ditching the VGA port and instead focusing on support for up to 3 HD 4K monitors or one 5K monitor, all running at a smooth 60fps. If running multiple high-resolution monitors at once is a key requirement on your Dell laptop, the D6000 USB-C hub is one to go for. Number 3. Satechi 4-Port USB-C Hub One of our favorite things about this adapter is its build quality. Instead of using cheap plastic or foam metal, the Satechi 4-port USB-C hub uses lightweight aluminum that feels premium every time you pick it up. There are two ports on either side, and they're spaced far enough apart to prevent bulkier accessories such as thumb drives and cables from colliding. The non-detachable cable is thick and sturdy. The USB-C padding around the connector that plugs into your computer is also made out of premium aluminum. Overall, the build quality is solid. It's likely a limitation of the tech, but each port on the hub is restricted to USB 3.1 Gen 1. We're looking at a mere 5 gigabits per second max transfer speed. This also means you can plug an external monitor into the hub, as there's simply not enough bandwidth to drive a modern monitor. It's fine for plugging in peripherals such as mice, keyboards, and audio gear, but you'll see a massive decline in speed when plugging in things like an external SSD. In instances where speed is a factor, you'll want to plug items directly into your computer or laptop. Also, if you own a lightweight laptop such as the latest generation MacBook Air, which only has two USB-C ports, you'll be saddened to learn that the hub doesn't support pass-through charging. So when you're running low on battery, you will need to decide how you want to use your two ports. In an ideal world, you could use one of the hub's ports to charge your MacBook Air. Sadly, that's not possible here. At the end of the day, the Citachi 4 port USB-C hub is an excellent choice for anyone who wants to expand the number of USB-C ports available on their machine. Yes, it has limits, 
But given the small number of USB-C hubs that actually multiply the number of USB-C ports you have that are available versus giving you legacy ports, it's hard to complain. Number 2. Apple USB-C Digital AV Multiport Apple's USB-C Digital AV Multiport adapter allows you to connect your USB-C enabled MacBook port to an HDMI display, a standard USB device, and a charging cable all at the same time. The USB port allows you to connect incompatible USB accessories to your USB-C enabled MacBook. The adapter supports full 1080p HD video output to your TV where you can mirror your MacBook's display or play movies. On one side of the adapter, you get a USB-C connection that is for charging the MacBook. It won't work on any other purpose besides that. In the center, you get an HDMI connection which supports video and audio output. And to write, you get a USB-A connector which supports USB 3 data transfer speeds up to 5 gigabits per second. Well, what this adapter allows you to do in short is to plug in a monitor as well as a USB-A device while still charging a MacBook. Although, you also need this cable to charge your MacBook if you don't already have one. Number 1 Anchor Power Expand Plus 7-in-1 USB-C Hub The Anchor Power Expand Plus 7-in-1 USB-C Ethernet Hub is a device that contains 7 expansion ports for your compatible laptops so that you may connect external gadgets to them. The hub plugs into your laptop, tablet, or phone via a built-in 8 inches USB-C cable. It includes an HDMI port, a 60W USB-C PD, pass-through charging port, two USB 3.0 ports, an SD card reader, a micro SD card reader, and a gigabit Ethernet port. The Anchor Power Expand Plus 7-in-1 USB-C Ethernet hub is made of matte light gray aluminum on top of the hub and matte dark gray polycarbonate on the bottom of the hub. It has a built-in 8-inch USB-C cable to attach to your device and feels well-made just like other Anchor products. One side of the hub contains an LED ring-shaped status light and two USB 3.0 ports. The LED glows a dim white light when it's plugged into a device. The other side of a hub contains an HDMI port which is capable of 4K at 30Hz. This side of the hub also contains an SD card reader, a micro SD card reader, and a USB-C PD pass-through charging port. The hub allows for a maximum of 60W input when using the USB-C port. The hub requires 12W to operate thus leaving about 48W of power delivery to the device you are charging. At the end of the hub contains the Gigabit Ethernet port and a couple of LED status lights to determine whether or not it is connected. Let us know in the comments which model works for you the best and why. Thank you for watching the video and that is all for this one. If you find this video helpful in any way, give a huge thumbs up, stay tuned for the upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.